Dun, 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 dun. I found it. I was talking about in the other video how I had this self-care journal or like um, how do you take care of yourself journal that I got for Christmas for myself. And I didn't have it in front of me while I was doing the video. I was going to say before I started this video, oh, this is the first video of the year, but it's not because technically the last video was the first video of the year because I did that after midnight and then posted it. And then I didn't go to sleep for like two hours afterwards because I'm, I'm that person like, oh yeah, I'll go to sleep. I promise. No, no, I didn't. No, no. It's, it took forever. It took forever. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so I thought I would show it. So I got this from Target. I happened to go to Target because I was looking for the little like duckies because I, I collect like the little Infantino kind of duckies, like any of the designs or colors or whatever, every single one, if I don't have it, I don't care what the color is or the pattern, I will get it. Now I happened to find some, uh, holiday theme, of course, like around Christmas, but, um, I'm just putzing around looking at stuff and I saw this first because it's blue. Blue is my favorite color, like any shade of blue, but blue favorite color. So I was like, Ooh, blue. And then self-care journal. I was like, Oh, I wonder what this is. And then, Oh, this is nice. And then it's got all these great little motivational things or, uh, wear your comfort or uh, comfiest sweater, visit your local library, which I love. I was like, yes, uh, help someone journal, listen to an interesting interview, organize your desk, visit a museum. You know, like it's got lots of cool stuff. Color something fun. Breathe deeply. Quit worrying for five minutes. My anxiety would have an issue with that, but still, but every single page that has lines on it, I like this one, make a cup of coffee. Well, I do that anyway, but if you can't see, it says, what did you do today to take care of yourself? And at the bottom, it has mood and then energy level between one and 10. And I did already write in it only once because I mean, honestly, it doesn't have to be every single day. Um, and I'm sporadic when it comes to journaling anyway, but I did on Christmas. Uh, it says add something awesome to your routine. So this would be something awesome for my routine. <laughs> if I could have a set routine when it comes to journaling, which I don't, but, um, I said today I didn't go anywhere or do anything except lounge my, with my sons at home for Christmas. And then I start going on about, you know, a tradition we started, um, like we started a tradition a couple years ago where we always have bacon and eggs for breakfast. I always budget in order to get bacon ahead of time, which I did. So we did. I read on my Kindle. I watched Doctor Who on Disney Plus and I enjoyed just being with my kids. It might not seem like much, but this doing nothing at all thing was good. While I didn't get much done, mostly to being tired from lack of sleep the night before, me not doing much gave me more energy. I think I needed to quiet my mind more than anything. It was overall a good day. I put down mood, not very stressed. Energy level seven, because do not doing anything, you're just kind of quieting the mind, which is very hard. I've got way too much going on in my head. Like think the Beauty and the Beast library from the anime, like the Beauty and the Beast library times like a thousand and it's haunted. Things are flying all over the place and I'm trying to find that one book, that one passage in the book and I just can't in this vast library that's like the size of like a thousand of those libraries. It's like, it, that's how my mind is and just so much going on all the time. And I'm just like, I'm trying to find the thing. Where is the thing? That's not the thing. <laughs> so like me popping up like random facts or, or random whatever's while I'm speaking to people, you know, or just like, oh, by association doing branching off and yeah, tangents galore. It's that's how my mind is. So quieting it by like distracting myself with things. That was nice. So my energy level is about a seven. Um, I'm not, as I said, like I'm not doing this every day. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's really just whenever you feel like it. And honestly, you don't have to put a date on there. I do because I've journaled in the past. And I always put a date whenever I, I do an entry because I like to know when I was thinking, whatever I was thinking or why I said, whatever I said. Um, but yeah, there's, there's just lots, lots of like add something awesome to your routine. Ice cream Sundays, buy and read a new magazine that catches your eye. Play your favorite video game. 
I mean, it's not my my ultimate favorite, but I am going to play some Crash Bandicoot later. Um, I am thinking about getting a Street Fighter game too, because I, I think I actually have one of the Street Fighters on the PS4 that I have. So but anyway, like it's just, it's got a lot of fun stuff. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's a pretty good size. Um, but yeah, this is the journal I was talking about, about, uh, like, I think in the spirit of what I've done the past year, advocating for myself more, I want to, well, do more for myself, do something that is taking care of myself. Um, I don't do that as often as I probably should, but I'm trying. <laughs> I mean, I had a certain vibe going into the new year, um, thinking about the past year and all the things that I had done uh, a bit more of or for the first time. So this is something that I would like to do that's solely focused on taking care of myself. Um, I know that for a lot of us, that's really hard, especially if you've got kids or you're doing things alone or you just, you, you got a stressful life or something has happened, the unexpected. So it's, it's good to take those moments to do something that's taking care of yourself if you can. Um, I, like I say, I've said this before in the past in other videos, but I also say this online too, is that like, yeah, I do enjoy journaling, but you can type it up. You can do a video. You can, you know, I, I started the daily challenges years ago, those videos. Um, like I actually started that on Facebook. I started that on Facebook uh, just writing a little something to myself as a daily challenge, something that I like about myself because I was struggling to love myself. I was struggling so much to find something redeeming or valid in myself. This is from a lifetime of abuse. This is from a lifetime of dealing with abusive, narcissistic people who just want to destroy me. Anytime I found some semblance of strength or, or confidence it was torn down and I would end up blaming myself because that's, that's what my abusers wanted. So I, I was struggling. I was really struggling to find something in myself that I thought was worthwhile. And I have done this journey for years now, but I'm finally to that point where I may not always love myself or even like myself, but that's okay. I'm still valid. I'm still worthwhile. There's nothing inherently wrong with me. Like I may have some character flaws that I need to work on. I may need to learn a lot of stuff and grow as a person. Great. Then let's do that. But I'm not going to hate myself for it. I'm not going to down myself or, or push myself to, to believe the worst, to, to believe the negative in myself, the way that I used to in the past. I do think that is a great character development over the years, considering my background, but I started those challenges and I stopped after a while because I wanted to explore other things. Um, I've said in other videos that I don't, I'm not doing this for like any sort of likes or followers or anything like that. If you happen to follow great, if you happen to like my stuff, great. I'm, I'm doing this for me. And if me doing this happens to help someone or give some sort of support or whatever, great. Um, but I, I kind of veered away from the daily challenges because I started to become more confident. I started to actually like myself and love myself at times. Uh, but I still have struggled advocating for myself and taking care of myself. So I am hoping that with this journal, even though I am pretty sporadic when it comes to journaling in general, I'm hoping that I can start doing these entries and finding something that I feel is taking care of myself. Even if it seems benign, I, I want to put it in here. Like me taking care of myself could just be me sitting for five minutes. It could literally be one of these things like going to museum. I love museums. I love exploring. I love hiking. I love going out and doing things, not around people most of the time, but doing things. I love art. I love music. I, I love cosplay and dance. I love all these things. I love movies. I love theater. I enjoy all this stuff and I want to explore that. I want to take my kids with me. I want, I feel like that would also be something that would be self-care for them. I want to show my kids what it means to take care of yourself in a healthy way. <laughs> um, 
sometimes it may not seem like you have the time to, to, to do with this. Uh, and we all have our own kind of schedules and things going on. And I, I definitely, as a single parent, have, don't have much time to do a lot of stuff. But I do want to make more effort to take care of myself, just in some small way. Maybe bigger ways down the down the road, but I just want I want to showcase that I want to show this and that. Um, I also want to say that even if even if you don't think you deserve it, don't guilt yourself about it because that's the other thing is I felt bad for advocating for myself. I thought that I didn't deserve that, and I, I it's not that. I've made all this progress and then I've just completely regressed. No, it's sometimes you're going to go back. Sometimes, even if you've moved past a certain point, even if you have overcome something from your past, that doesn't mean it's completely gone. That doesn't mean you're cured or anything. Therapy is great. I've, I've done some therapy to help myself. Um, if I absolutely need it, I do seek it. I do ask for help. But... Simply doing that doesn't mean that my past is erased and I don't actually want it to be erased. I don't actually want to completely cover it up. I don't want to forget it. I want to learn and grow with it that this is what happens. I'm learning from that and I'm moving forward. But there are times when you will go back. You will have a certain mindset that you had in the past when you were in the middle of a crisis and you shouldn't feel guilty if that happens. You shouldn't feel like you failed if that happens. You should give yourself a bit of grace for that because as I said, like if you've ever gone through trauma, abuse, any if you've ever gone through something monumental in your life that it affects you years later, that's going to be with you. And that's not like it's not your fault if you go back to a certain mindset or you do something again, take a deep breath and then move forward. I know that sounds horrible and I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor or anything like that. Just there are times when I will slide backwards. There are times when I will go back to being scared or, or thinking a certain way should not feel guilty if that happens. I'm trying to do better with myself on that. And that's the same for taking care of yourself. Because in the past, any time that I stood up, anytime I had confidence in my abilities, in, in, in how I thought something like nine out of 10 times, I knew the answer in school or I knew what was gonna happen because I was paying attention. And I was too afraid to speak up. I was too afraid to raise my hand. I was too afraid that that I would get it wrong in that moment, even though I knew the answer, even though I knew, hey, based on how this is set up, that thing is going to fall on the floor. But I didn't do anything because I was afraid that someone would think I was weird because I noticed that. Like, I'm not a genius or anything. It's just that I, like, I will notice things because I'm hyper vigilant for a reason. But so many times I was afraid. I'm trying to not be as afraid. I can't completely erase the fear because that's going to be there. But in the same way that I should not feel guilty for any time I slide back, I should not feel guilty about advocating or doing any sort of self-care because a lot of people will feel guilty or think that they don't deserve it. Don't do that to yourself. It's, it's hard. It's going to be a struggle. Not going to lie. I'm not going to be like, yes, pep talk. And then it's all going to be uphill from here. No, that's not how it works. But just try your best to not feel guilty for taking the time to do this or that for yourself or to journal or to do a video or just, I'm trying to give a little bit of hope. I'm trying to give a little bit of inspiration and motivation and be like, Hey, it's not going to be all pretty and happy and joyous all the time. It's, <laughs> it's going to be a struggle, especially if you are still working through a lot of stuff from your past. Even though I've gone through a lot, and I mean a lot of my past, I've worked very hard for the last 20 years 
to to find myself to love myself to to feel like what I'm doing is right that I that I'm not you know wrong for trying to take this path for doing this journey and it's it's hard it's still hard it's I'm not gonna lie it's still hard but I feel a bit better about this journey because I'm giving myself that grace I'm saying it's okay if this happens you're not going to get it right every time but this is one of the things that I want to get right I want to do more self-care I, I want to take those moments and just be myself and do the things that I enjoy because that is self-care speaking my truth being honest sorry I keep doing this <laughs> but it is like there <laughs> but uh that's just that's what I want to talk about not the first video of the year yeah but the second video of the year um now most things are closed today because of New Year's but Tomorrow, when I go back to work, uh, after work, I definitely want to take the boys somewhere. I want to do something. I don't know what it's going to be, but something. And I'm going to consider that self-care because it's me getting up and doing. And I, I don't want to be stuck in a sort of funk. So that's, that's something that I want to do is self-care. Again, it, whatever it self-care looks like to you, it's going to be different than me. Um, you don't have to journal. You don't have to like, it can be a video. It can be a recording. It, it can be typing something up. It's, it can be sketching. It can be singing something or playing an instrument, like whatever it is, do that because it makes you happy. And that is self care. Don't feel guilty for it either. Uh, okay. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is safe after new year's Eve into new year's because well, it's good to be safe, but, um, I had some videos planned, but that didn't happen because I was trying to transfer videos and stuff from my phone to my computer and some things and accidentally got deleted in the process. I need a new phone. I've, I've got an S 21, so it's, it's over a couple years old. Uh, it's almost three years old and it's actually, it's like, this is the thing I hate about technology is especially these smartphones. Like I had a flip phone. I had the razor. I had the, like the OG stuff, like the brick Nokia, the, 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 like the brick Nokia that was like practically indestructible. And you had to like press a million times on a button to get a text out. Yeah, <laughs> that was, I wasn't allowed technology or phone until after I turned 18 when I was still living at home. And then I started, you know, my own job and, you know, paying for my own phone and all that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, it's these smartphones. Like I still do Samsung. I tried the iPhone once years ago and I absolutely despised it. I don't care what anyone says. Samsung, <laughs> Android, like just, <laughs> that's where I'm at. But this phone is showing that it's like, nope, I don't want to work because I just don't want to. So I need a new phone. Hopefully I can get one in the color I like, but anyway, hope you're doing well. Talk to you when I talk to you. So 